Hello, I'm Gustavo Alguin, reporting here with Telemarks, and today we were here at the psychology workshop, and they went over topics such as sex, when to have it, and how to communicate with your partner. We were able to talk to some of the people that were involved, as well as students who participated in the event. All right, I'm here with the speaker of the workshop today, Marianne, Dr. Marianne Larson, and what do you think was the thing that students actually took away from this workshop? To wait to have sex, I hope. It's a great part of a relationship, but it shouldn't be the first. And I noticed that the way you, you, you talk to them, you're very joking, you're very playful. But it's a serious topic, but it works. You get the students involved. Like, how have you incorporated that into the way you speak to the students? Well, if you do it like it's a lecture, nobody listens. They all go to sleep. And sex is fun. Why can't I be funny talking about sex? And uh, a common phrase that we have is opposites attract. But uh, when it comes down to it, you said the core values, they want it to be similar. Core how, values are the same. How important is it for the core values to be similar in a relationship? Depends on how much you're willing to work on a relationship. When you don't believe the same way about fidelity, about trust, about rearing children, about discipline, about spending money, if you don't share, and that's just a few of them, you don't share those, you're squabbling all the time. It's hard to make it work. And I know one thing you brought up was uh, cell phones and how they're a problem. And I know this day and age, everything revolves around someone's cell phone. How has that made it harder for it to be like more intimate or more in sync with the person you're in relationship with? Well, actually, there are some, re there are some studies that have uh, been released recently that show that your brain develops differently than my brain did, that I um, have better development in the social skills area of the brain than you because I'm used to doing face-to-face, one-on-one. You do this all the time and there's no person there. So you're not reading facial expression, you're not looking at body language, you're not listening to inflection, and you think you're connected. Good luck. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gustavo Guin. I'm here with Yadi Carrera, uh, the president of the Psychology Club, and what do you think was the importance of the workshop today? Um, I think the importance was just helping, helping the students here like have a successful relationship. A lot of people don't really know what goes into a good relationship and this is something that would really help them in the long run. And if you could tell by like looking at the students, they were very involved and they were laughing and yeah. she was able to get a response to them. Like, How do you think that style of uh, presenting this uh, PowerPoint, how do you think it helped the students uh, accept the message? Um, I think honestly it was the best way because she could have been very dry and been like, well this is how you do it, there has to be this, this and that. And that's not how she did it. There was a dialogue, there was communication, there was, it was an open environment so people felt more safe to volunteer information, which some people even did. And it, was, it made for a really fun experience for everyone involved. And it was actually a pretty big turnout. Is your group actually, is it like this big on a normal basis? Um, club meetings are usually about 20 people, so weekly, and this one was not, we were almost at 100 people for this workshop, so it was really, really great. And do you guys have anything uh, planned coming up or in the future? Um, as far as speakers, we have next week um, Professor Duval speaking on marriage as well, as a kind of similar topic. And then the only other event we have after that is our induction banquet at the end of the semester. It was apparent that people enjoyed the workshop and how it was presented. And remember, moral of the story is sex is fun, but know when to have it. You can like our Facebook page at Talonmarks News, follow us on Twitter at Talonmarks, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Gustavo Aguin, reporting from Talonmarks. Thank you.